is going on everybody very quick video today we're going to be comparing the polish p64 to the russian design but in this case bulgarian manufactured makarov okay i get a lot of questions on these two uh, people asking which one's the better gun which one should you get um First off, that's personal preference, all right? And you have to figure out why you're buying it. Are you buying it for the old Milserp cool collectability aspect of it, or are you buying it as a defensive tool or a little bit of both? And then over the course of this video, um, we'll talk about the similarities between these two guns and the differences, and hopefully that will help you figure out which one's right for you. Obviously, my opinion, buy both. Right now, they're cheap, so why not get both? And that kind of leads me into my first point. When it comes to Milserp stuff, if you see something you like, buy it now. Prices on Milserp stuff never go down at least not usually okay we saw this happen to the old nagant revolvers that used to sell for 99 bucks and now they sell for 350. same thing with the uh, old sks's that are now selling for up to 450 bucks when you used to be able to buy them for about a hundred um, look at most of nagants just three or four years ago you could still buy them for a hundred to 150 bucks now they're 250 sometimes even more if they're in good condition so as the market dries up, as people buy these things, prices only go up. That's how this stuff works. All right, so now let's get into the similarities, all right? Both are all steel guns that fire from a single stack magazine that fire the 9x18 or 9mm Makarov round, okay? Uh, both are double action, single action, hammer fired guns with a safety decocker on them. Uh, both disassemble the exact same way. You pull down on the trigger guard, you pull the slide back up and over to disassemble. They are fixed barrel blowback designs on both of them. So right off the bat, just a ton of similarities. They even come with holsters that are going to be the same. When you buy them, you're gonna get usually two magazines and a holster and a little cleaning tool. Looks like this for the P64, looks like this for the Makarov. So right off the bat, a lot of similarities. And keep in mind, they were both designed to pretty much do the same thing by, well, a lot of the same people for the same intentions. These are Cold War era Eastern Bloc designs. So they were very much influenced by the Russians, directly, obviously, in this case, because it was designed by the Russians. Um, but uh, as far as this Polish gun, it was meant to be very similar in a lot of ways to all those kind of Eastern Bloc um, countries and, and, and the sidearms they were using at the time. All right, now let's talk about the differences between these two. Now, there's not a lot of differences between them, but they are significant differences, especially if you plan on using one of these two firearms as a defensive tool, okay? Um, first up is going to be the size. Um, the P64 is considerably smaller, in my opinion, about half inch this way, half inch that way, give or take. It's slightly thinner, and it's about five ounces lighter. So for carry, um, this is a little bit easier gun to carry around if that's something you're going to be doing with it. Another thing is going to be price. Um, the P64 at this point is about $100 cheaper than the Makarov. Uh, this one runs around $250, give or take. This one's going to be around $350, give or take. Of course, that's all going to be based on where you bought it. Did you buy it online? Did you buy it locally? Private transaction? Are you paying shipping fees or FFL fees? But in general, there's about $100 difference between these two. Now, for that $100, one thing you do get is extra capacity. With the Makarov, you get eight rounds plus one in the chamber versus six rounds plus one in the chamber with the P64. If you're gonna use this as a defensive tool, to me, that's significant. Um, another thing that's significant for me if you're going to use it as a defensive tool is going to be the trigger pull. Um, now, single action triggers on both of these is actually really, really nice. Double action trigger pull, that's a different story. On the Makarov, it's about 15 pounds. On the P64, it's about 25 pounds. It is not a very nice double action trigger pull. Now, if you carry these guns or use these guns the way I believe they were intended to be used, which is you load the magazine, you rack one into the chamber, then you decock it. So hammer down on a round, that first trigger pull is going to be double action and on this gun, quite honestly, it sucks. Now you can fix that for about 10 bucks with a new spring, which is what I'm gonna do this one, but out of the box, this has the far superior trigger. And another difference is going to be manipulating the gun. This gun has no external slide stop. So if for whatever reason you want to hold the slide open, uh, check the chamber, clean something out without completely disassembling it, anything like that, you can't do that with this gun unless you insert an empty magazine. Whereas of course on the Makarov, you actually do have a slide stop. So you can hold open the slide on this gun if you need to for any reason, all right? So those are your differences. And, and again, I think you can tell uh, as a defensive tool, from those differences, the Makarov, in my opinion, is the better option. They're both great guns. I love both of them. And in fact, in many ways, I think this is the better looking gun. This has better fit and finish than the Makarov does, in my opinion. Um, but in general, as a defensive tool, I think this is the better option. Now, 
personal preference is personal preference. So you guys go out there, you figure out which one works better for you. Those are the those are the similarities between these two. Those are the differences between these two. My personal preference is the Makarov, but for you it could be different. Maybe just the fact that this is a smaller gun makes it something you're more likely to carry if that is what you are buying this gun for. But in general, as just cool, collectible mil serp guns, they're both fantastic. And my opinion, as I said before, is just go ahead and get one of each.